Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 117 to 118. <sighs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a doozy. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Purple Hyacinth, episode 117. The people are getting angry, both at us and at the court. This is not working, end the curfew. Will nothing change? 10 years in fear, we are demanding change. Do not give in to fear. We've been running after the Phantom Scythe without results for so long. This has gone long enough. You are incompetent. 10 years and we're still living in fear. And the nobles have been egotistical for even longer than that. New rule since the factory event. Perhaps what the Snapdragon tried to do a decade ago is about to repeat itself. However, this time, it's not pacifist groups who's getting increasing support. Uh, is everything going to be all right? Ma'am, we're doing our best to ensure everyone's security. What is going on, sir? Please calm down. Let me explain. The situation is crazy in the streets right now. Everyone is freaking out. Especially the nobles. I heard many are leaving the city, just like after the... Uh, the at? Ast? T... T... But don't... Oh! But don't... Oh no, she's about to faint. she having a headache? Oh. Officers, Officer Sinclair! Cannot hear. Sergeant Liddell, cover for me, please. I will go check in on Officer Sinclair. No need to worry, squad. Carry on. T -t -t Come, Lauren, we're taking a small break. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Will. I just had a moment of... I've been watching you since the start of the shift. I'm worried for you. You don't look well at all. This is too soon for you. I'm alright, Will. Don't worry. I've rested for two weeks and I'm okay now. Two weeks with all those injuries is not enough. To be honest, you guys. I wouldn't be so sure about that. You're as pale as a ghost, and you look like your head was killing you. I... It's okay to be scared, you know. What do you mean? Loud noises, crowds, people shouting. I've seen you getting progressively unnerved since we met with the protest. It used to be like this for me too, you know, after the Allendale explosion. I would get terrified at any remotely loud noise. It took me months to get over it. And you've been through an explosion for the second time. I know, I just, I do feel fine most of the time. And I don't want to draw more attention to myself by not being up to task, even on my half days. Herman's on my back again, and Herman. He followed me this morning to ex expressly tell me that he doesn't believe the car accident story and heavily imply he intending to find the truth. Lauren, look, none of this matters more than you do. Herman got more than enough to deal with right now than nitpicking the details up your alibi. You need to take care of yourself before your body forces you to take a leave of absence, which isn't even a bad idea. I know, Will, but I'm just very worried for you. In the last few days, we thought you had died. Gone. 
or at least severely injured. God's nowhere. I tried my best to stay composed and rational, but Kim? She was so scared that she was literally losing it. She's hiding it because she knows you have enough on your plate. Kim had guessed you were loon for a good while, and I've had my suspicions. My own suspic suspicions. But when I saw how she reacted when the factory exploded, I understood that she knew for sure it was you. And my heart broke. The possibility that you'd just be gone? Gone? Just like that? Just like Dylan on that day? Don't you dare to disappear too. Dare to disappear too. I don't want to be the only one left. From our childhood memories. I won't, Will. I promise. <sighs> Mirage Opera House. Oh, you're right on time. Miss Starks injured herself. We need a replacement for the play. Um, since you wrote the script, we thought you'd be the best to play the character. I'm so sorry for the extra trouble, Miss Green. Of course. I miss acting. It's been a while. What will we, what will we be doing with the seventh? He cannot be trusted. He knows that he is in danger with his ties to the noble spears. He could even turn our enemies for protection. <sighs> Apostle 4. Assassinations Espen Espionage Leader Who shall be executed at the slightest fox pass. Faux pass. No chances, no compromises. I want our best spies to watch him 24-7. The Vipers report are to be handed to me directly. What about his alliances? He may think that he is untouchable, but his allies are far less loyal to each other than we are. His position forces us to keep him around for now, but we'll cut his ties one by one. Fourth, you are in charge with a twelfth. Understood. Speaking of our assassins, the Purple Hyacinth has given us his report. Many witnesses have seen Loon carry the bomb right before its explosion at the factory. Although the charred body found on site could not be identified, it is practically certain they are theirs. I know. I've seen the police reports. But the Purple Hyacinth, he's taken us a suspiciously long time to uncover their identities. That... In addition to all the things he's done to spite us, wouldn't it be safer to get rid of? I have my own plans for the Purple Hyacinth. I will inform you in time. I would still advise caution with him. The best way to catch a culprit is to make them think they're off the hook. It is the same for the Seventh. I'm not foolish enough to entirely trust the Purple Hyacinth. A man whose life we turned upside down. Instead of trying to control them, let them roam free and see where they will portray themselves with too much freedom. Maybe they will lead us exactly where we want them to. We've seen it coming for the seventh. But I still cannot believe what he's done. How could he betray us after all this time? Greed for power and riches. The destitute dream of it, and the rich only want more. I've been on both sides for long enough to see it devour the hearts of the most virtuous men. The seventh fell for it like so many before him. Whatever it takes, I will make sure his actions can't harm us any further. I've lost too much to traitors to ever let it happen again. 
<sighs> My gosh. <sighs> I will not let it happen again. What was that flashback? We have arrived. What did you want me to show me? The updated plan. So all the X's. Oh my gosh. So far, so good. Ah, I'm trying to take a breather here. Hold on, guys. Let me lower the light just a smidge. There we go. Okay. Volume. Music on. Purple Hyacinth. Episode 118. Um, yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. Already nine. It's been a long day. Ugh. Evening, Lieutenant talks. Working late? Officer Jefferson. I was just finishing up some stuff. Heading off now. Keep up the good work. I'll try. Everything been so hectic. Thank you. It's almost a curfew time, Liddell. You've been staying late a lot lately. Good thing we're cops and don't actually have a curfew. Bad thing we're cops and the paperwork just won't stop. Ugh. You can't imagine the amount of paperwork I had to do from the factory. <laughs> I can imagine very well. Don't worry. I got just as much as you. So, I'm staying late to finish them as quickly as I can so I can be free tomorrow. There, uh, There's a newly opened restaurant down the, our street and my parents wanted to try it out. There, There's freshly pressed watermelon juice on the menu, William. Freshly pressed watermelon juice! My butt cheeks are not uh, getting up from this chair until this file is done. I'm afraid your butt cheeks will dis disintegrate, disintegrate before that. If you want them to live to fight another day, you need to take a break too. How she, how he's holding her. <laughs> I don't need my butt. I need the juice. If you care about my butt so much, help me, Almighty Lieutenant Hawk. All right, all right. Just stop doing that with my face. Would you help me too, Lieutenant? Three hours later. We're finally done. See, that's why you should do the paperwork. It's much faster when it's done by you. Nice try, Kim. Also, get down. You're disturbing the others. Psh, I have office productivity at heart. Unlike you. Ugh. It got late. Please go get some sleep before tomorrow. We've been up since 6 a.m. By the time I get home, I'll just have enough time left to take a quick nap and then get back here. I might as well pull an all-nighter and get ahead on, on some files. Besides, I got my trusty sidekick with me. Tears of my paper proofreaders. Oh my gosh. Ready to keep me up all night. <laughs> well, I know a place not too far from here where you could actually spend the night with someone else just for avail as available for you. Uh, what? The infirmary bed. <laughs> Gosh, she's lacking sleep and so she is hysterical oh my gosh okay I think you really need to sleep 
Let's get you to lie down. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Was that a joke? Did you just joke? Sorry. This is the first time I heard you joke. Sorry. Lieutenant Hawks, you're still here. Officer Jefferson. <laughs> oh my god, I have to tell Lauren about this. Will, give me the phone. At least the protests went well yesterday. There were no outbursts. We didn't need to intervene. Yeah, that's good. Sorry for leaving the patrol in your charge yesterday. I felt it'd be safer for Lauren to get back home accompanied. She's not working until the theater tonight. Thanks for taking care of her. I knew the return would be too soon for her. She told me her upcoming plans and I'm still worried it might be too early for her body to handle. She did say we'll be working on leads together once she re she's recovered, so that's good. We'll be watch. We'll be able to watch her more closely. Yeah. You're right. Anyways, talk about the protest. You know, I can't help but think they're right. Part of me wanted to support the protest. Yeah. My family's middle class, so we get by, but... It's because we're among the lucky ones. Some things definitely should change. And even though the Phantom Scythe's always been our enemy, some of their points are right. <sighs> Despite using very wrong methods. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'm not blind to the outrageous privileges associated with our title. While children die starving on the South Shore, some things do need to change. I just hope the protests won't incite more violence. Families like mine have been their prime target, to be honest with you. It's almost weird that my father's head is not already rolling on the ground. He was chief of police and actively involved in the government's decisions back when it all started. Not many of his past colleagues are still alive. They are were practically all assassinated. So then, why was my father kept alive? Bing? Bing? Light bulb? Maybe? Do they have a reason? Part of me always has always been afraid we'll be their next victims. That's awful. I'm sorry, Will. I didn't mean to... It's okay. I think I'm more afraid that the ATS will repeat itself again. ATSD? ATS? I'm sorry, guys. I think I might butcher that word, but that's a weird word. Or maybe it's... Uh... Were you friends with Dylan too? Yes, well, not as much as Lord. My father didn't really allow me to befriend him too much. But he was one of my only friends at the time. I see. She never accepted his death. I did, and it's the only reason I've been able to move on. Only too soon, it seems. I keep thinking that if we had searched further that day. He's gone, Lauren. We have to get away. If we had not given up so quickly, maybe we would have been able to find him. You must have been terrified the night of the factory. It's as if everything happened all over again. And uh, yet, you stood there for me. I'm sorry. You didn't have to. But thank you, William. Always. Family, there she is. Attacking the kids. <laughs> it's William. So I'm assuming, is this the parents are here? Of course, that's the... He's not, is he the de detective? I don't know what his um, position is, actually. Oh, my hair is, like, not cute today, but... 
So, I'm not familiar. <sighs> I still can't believe, I still can't quite believe it. My own brother. For how long? <sighs> I know, Tristan. I know. I have gone through every single thing we kept from them. Not a trace of the activities. I knew they were supporting the snap tracking back then, but I never thought they were part of it. And then founding members of the Phantom Scythe. So, three of the people that we don't know, or that I do not know, might be part of the Phantom Scythe. When I think about it, I'm not that surprised. They were both lawyers. Both disgusted by what they were seeing in their daily practice. They were adamant about the necessity to bring about changes. They used to create a lot of tensions with the Hawks and made them grow apart. Back when Josephine was still there to some soften his heart. She's not dead yet. Okay, okay, so back at the picture. So that's the parents then, right? And that is pretty much William's parents. These two. Sorry guys, I'm just looking. Right? This has to be the parents. I don't know who that is. This has to be William's parents right here. Because I, yeah. Okay, sorry guys. I had to like look at it one more time. <sighs> She's not dead yet. I've heard she doesn't have long to live, unfortunately. Not many of us remain. First Annabelle, then Rachel and Alexander. Josephine is now on the br brink of death. And Stefan's been more distant than ever. Now, now's not the time to get mel melancholic. Melancholic? How do you say that word? Melancholic. What an interesting word. So what does that mean? Suggestive or expressive of sadness or depression, mind of sp or spirit. Pull yourself together, my dear. There's someone downstairs, uh, waiting for you downstairs. Excuse me for keeping you waiting, Lady Darcy. What is she doing there? Okay, okay, a lot to, un to uncover here, but, wow. Okay. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!